In the next video, we're going to discuss the Euclidean vector spaces. Euclidean vector spaces are n-dimensional vector spaces equipped with the Euclidean norm, as defined before, the Euclidean distance or metric function, as defined before, and the dot product between vectors. And remember that for every x in Rn, we have the equality x dot x, which is the dot product, is also equal to the norm of x squared basically relating the dot product with the norm function. Because in Euclidean vector spaces we defined the dot product, which basically gives me an indication of whether vectors are perpendicular to each other or not, I can define orthonormal basis sets, and these are sets whose vectors have length of 1 and they are perpendicular to each other. So B is, an ortho, is a basis set for Rn. B is called an orthonormal basis set if the vectors are perpendicular to each other for every i not equal to j, ei dot ej is 0. And the norm or the size of the vectors of B is equal to 1 for every i. The size of the vector ei is equal to ei dot ei is equal to 1. Because we are able to define perpendicular vectors, we are able to find what we call orthogonal projections. So if I have a vector y, I have a vector x, I can find a vector b and a vector a, this is a and this is b, such that I have x is equal to a plus b, and b is perpendicular to y. And A is called the orthogonal projection of X on Y. The orthogonal projection here is defined as follows. We have A is equal to X dot Y divided by norm Y squared in the direction of Y. So this is a number and Y is a vector. And you can easily show that B is indeed perpendicular to Y. How to show that? We're just going to take B dot Y and B is equal to X minus A. And A is defined here, so A is x dot y divided by norm y squared multiplied by vector y all dot y. This is equal to x dot y minus x dot y divided by norm y squared y dot y. But I know I'm in a Euclidean vector space, so norm y squared is equal to y dot y, and so this is equal to 0, therefore b is perpendicular to y. We are now going to check the tool that draws the orthogonal projection in Euclidean vector spaces. So if you scroll down to the tool, here the tool draws the vectors x and y and finds the orthogonal projection of the vector x on y. And so I'm going to assume be 1, 1, and y to be 1, 4. Evaluate. As you can see, the vector x is the black one, the vector y is the blue one, and you can see the orthogonal projection is the vector a. That's the orthogonal projection of the vector x on y, and I have the vector b here, and the tool calculates all the different uh, what, the, the components of a and b and so you can you should check your, with your hand calculations whether you you are able to reproduce these now if we in, uh, try to find the orthogonal projection of 1 comma 4 and 1 comma 1 which is the opposite and click evaluate you're going to get the different projection and you can see here the projection of of the black vector x on the blue vector y is the last operation that we're going to define for the Euclidean vector spaces is the cross product. The cross product is unique to only R3. The cross product given two vectors gives me another vector z. So z is equal to u cross v. This z is perpendicular to both u and b. So if I have a vector u and a vector v, the cross product operation gives me a vector z and this z is both perpendicular to u and perpendicular to b.
The size of this new vector is limited by the area of the parallelogram formed by u and v. So if this is u and this is v and this is theta u v, this area right here, which is equal to the norm of u, the norm of v multiplied by sine theta, this area is equal to the norm of the vector z. And so norm z squared is equal to norm u squared, norm v squared, sine squared theta uv. And if you manipulate the formulas, you get this new formula, which is equivalent. Norm z squared is equal to norm u squared, norm v squared, minus u dot v squared. There are three additional properties of the cross product. It's skew symmetric. u cross v is equal to negative v cross u. Cross product is distributive over vector addition, so u cross v plus w is equal to u cross v plus u cross w. And if I have a scalar multiplier multiplied by u cross v, it's equal to alpha u cross v, or is also equal to u cross alpha v. The cross product as defined above can be used to show the following. First, because we're saying that the new vector, when I cross two vectors, I get a third vector that's perpendicular to the original two, I get that e1 cross e2 is either equal to positive e3 or negative e3, and so on. And I choose the positive for the right-hand orientation. The right-hand orientation is defined as follows. If this is E1 and this is E2, then the right-hand orientation is such that E3 is oriented this way. And in this case, when I say E1 cross E2, I get the positive E3. Another important property of the cross product is that U cross V is equal to 0, if and only if u and v are linearly dependent. So basically, if u or v is equal to 0, or if u and v are linearly dependent, means u and v are on the same line, then sine, the angle between them, is 0, and so the cross product will give me 0. You can also define the cross product with an alternative definition. We chose the abstract definition that's not connected to any basis vectors, but you can also define it using the components. If I have a certain basis set, and if I have a certain component representation of every vector, I can define u cross v as follows. u cross v is equal to these components, u2 v3 minus 3 3 v2 in the basis vector e1, plus these components e2, plus these components in e3. And you're probably more familiar with this explicit representation from your previous courses. I can also define the triple product between three vectors. The triple product gives me the volume of the cube or the uh, parallelly piped formed by the three vectors. Basically, if I have V and W and U, then the triple product U dot V cross W basically gives me this volume. So the volume is equal to u dot v cross w. And in fact, this is also equal to v dot w cross u, also equal to w dot u cross v. These three quantities are equal, and the proof you'll find it in your website. The triple product of three linearly dependent vectors is zero. If I have three vectors u, v, and w that are in the same plane, if they are in the same plane, then the volume formed by their parallelly piped is zero, and so u dot v cross w is equal to zero if and only if u and v and w are linearly dependent. The triple product of orthonormal vectors is equal to 1. If I have a vector here, u, whose size is 1, and a vector v here, whose size is equal to 1, and a vector w here, whose size is equal to 1, and if the three are perpendicular to each other, then the volume 
mid by u v and w its volume is equal to one so u dot v cross w is equal to one if u v and w are ortho the bottom of the Euclidean vector space web page, you're going to find a tool that calculates the cross product between two vectors. So if I put, for example, x as 1, 2, 2, and y as 1, 1, 4, and I press evaluate, I will get the cross product x cross y. And you can check this tool against your hand calculations to see if you're able to calculate this using your knowledge here. And let's try to calculate the opposite cross product. So 1, comma 1 comma 4 cross 1 comma 2 comma 2 and let's see what would happen if I just switch those two vectors and as we should expect I will get the opposite vector in this case it's going to be the vector that's negative to the vector from the previous calculation 